my lovelies. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now, obviously. But today's look is going to be a nice foiled silver and gray kind of cut crease. It's more of just like a smoky eye with a sharp crease line. I wouldn't necessarily call it a cut crease because I feel like that's a lot more intense. Um, but it is actually a very intense look because we're using silvers and grays and also there's glitter involved and the super legit highlight. But I don't use cool tones too often so sometimes I like to shake it up and use a little bit of silver and gray and cool stuff. So I also was looking through my makeup collection and I found this little baby which is the NARS dual intensity eyeshadow in the shade Callisto and I hadn't used this in a long long time and I was like you are so pretty I need to break you out. So this entire look is based around this one shade. It is the thing that inspired me. A lot of times different things Things inspire me. It can be another picture of makeup that I saw. It could be just one different product like a highlighter or an eyeshadow or just a lipstick that inspires me or I can just see some random like art thing that will inspire me or even like a song. Actually no I'm not even gonna lie that's way too artsy. I've never been inspired to do makeup by a song. That's a lie. Or even like my nails. Look at my cool holographic nails right now. Aren't they dope? I wish I had an eyeshadow that looked like this. Can somebody create that? Oh wait that's my job. I'm a product developer. Whoops. But yeah you guys I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I'm not going to ramble on too much longer. We're just going to get right into it so that you can learn how to get this look. Okay guys, so we're going to jump into our Lorac Pro 2 palette. An oldie but a goodie. I really, really love this palette. It is well loved. As you can see, it's a mess. But we're going to jump into the shade Light Brown here with this Morphe E13 brush. And we're just going to buff this right at the very top of the crease. This is going to be our transition color to our brow bone. So go ahead and make sure this is nice and buffed out. And then using this E22 brush, we're going to jump into this shade right next to light brown called Cool, cool Gray. And we're going to take this right below where we put light brown. So we're going to start transitioning into those gray tones that we're going to have on the eye. And you're going to do this from inner corner to outer corner. And now we're going to jump into this shade called Charcoal on a Morphe M505 shade. Brush, I mean. <laughs> And we're going to take this even lower in the crease so we're really building that gradient once again from outer corner to inner corner. You want to keep this a little bit tighter, that's why our brush is smaller for this step. And you're going to take a little bit of that product right on the outer corner of the eye. And always keep a clean, like big fluffy brush on hand just to blend everything together. Blend any edges that might be a little wonky. And now we're going to go ahead with a much smaller brush. This is the M507 from Morphe and we're going to go into the black shade from the palette. And we're going to go very direct in the crease. Once again, from inner corner to outer corner, you don't have to go all the way in the inner corner with this because it can get a little bit tricky there, but you do want to go inner to outer. And also pop a little bit on that outer corner just to deepen up the whole look. And yes, you are going to look like you have a black eye until everything is complete, but don't worry, just have faith. Okay, now I'm going to take some concealer, which is what I used as my eye primer, and just get a tiny bit of that on the back of my hand. And then we're going to take this really perfect for this step brush. This is the Sigma Cut Crease E62, and got a little bit of that on the brush. And we're going to go ahead and cut our crease with the eye primer and the brush. So you're basically just going to go right in here and clean up that line so that when we put our sparkly shade, it will show up beautifully. This is really the easiest way to do a cut crease, I promise you guys. And I don't want a full cut crease, I kind of just want it cut in the beginning. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead with any flat shader kind of brush. And I'm just going to take this shade in the palette called Chrome, which is a really nice like pewter gray color, or like a taupey. And we're just going to pop that right here. And now for the start of the show, we're going to go in with the NARS Dual Intensity Eyeshadow in the shade Callisto. Look how gorgeous that is. But we are going to foil it. These shadows you can use wet or dry, but I'm going to use it wet because I want it to be booming. So I'm going to spray my brush with a little Fix Plus. Actually, that's a lot for this size brush. And you're just going to rub it in the pan and it's going to get nice and foiled. And then starting at the inner corner... I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this. Look how beautiful that is. And then I'm gonna go back in with that chrome shade and kind of blend from the outer corner to the inner corner. So blend this brighter gray shade into the black and then we'll go in with some black afterward and really makes the blend nice and even. Yeah, so I'm just gonna take the other end of that brush 
and get a little bit of the black on it. And just make sure this is nice and blended. Then I'm gonna go in with a mixture of buff and snow on this exact blend brush from Sigma. I'm just gonna use this to highlight my brow bone quickly. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and give myself a wing with the NYC liquid liner in black. I'm gonna keep it really thin, or I'm gonna try to at least keep it really thin on the inner corner and then thicken it up at the outer corner. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and clean up any fallout and also clean up the outer edge of my eye look. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do mascara and lashes. I'm using the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara, which has become a favorite of mine recently. And then I'm gonna pop on these number 27, wait, 217 lashes from Cream. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and do my face and I'll be right back. Now that my foundation and everything is on, I'm gonna go ahead and contour and bronze with the NYX, or NYX Benefit Hula Bronzer. And I'm going to use my Soft Angle Contour F23 brush from Sigma. And now for blush, I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Rockateur blush, which is really nice, like mauve rose gold kind of shade. It's gorgeous and I love it. And for my highlight today, I'm gonna go in with the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Sunlight. I love this shade. Okay, for the lower lash, I'm going to start off with this E47 shader crease brush from Sigma. I'm going to take light brown, and we're going to buff this all along the lower lash line. And then with this small little smudger brush, I'm going to go into charcoal, and we're going to buff this closer to the lash line. And then I'm going to take this flat definer brush with the shade black, and we're just going to go on the very outer corner just to connect this wing with the lower lash line. And then for the waterline to start out, I'm gonna take a white eyeliner. This one is from Stila in the shade Snow, or Alpine, might be. And then I'm gonna take that same Callista shade, or Callisto, wet it again with my Fix Plus, get it a little bit foiled, and we're gonna pop that right on top of where we laid down that eyeliner. I'm also gonna pop that right on the inner corner. And then finish off the eyes with just a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes. Okay, finally for lips. Did I even pick a lip? I did not pick a lipstick. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to start off with the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Under Over Lip Liner in the shade Vibe. And then I'm going to go in with this new TARDIS Quick Dry Lip Paint in the shade Pillow Talk. It's a really pretty, like, super nude nude. I'm just gonna put that on the middle of my lips, like the center, and then kind of just blend it by putting my lips together. And then you guys know I love a glossy nude, so I'm gonna go in with this MAC Cream Sheen Glass in the shade It's a Strike. I'm not sure if this is like limited edition or anything, but it's a good one. And then I'm just gonna hit my whole face with a little bit of Fix Plus. Okay, and once you do that, the look is complete. I'm actually super excited about how it turned out. I haven't done anything silver in a while, so I like it. And this inner corner and this nose glow, mmm, hit that light. But yeah, that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure, if you did, that you give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all my new videos. And because I'd love for you to be a part of my YouTube family. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. I'm not sure if I said that, but I say it like 18 times in every video anyway. Um, but I will see you next time. Bye.